Ray is a registered petroleum engineer with more than 30 years of oil and gas operations and management experience. He's been an owner, founder, and officer of several companies and startups, and is considered an industry expert in operational management, well design, completion technology, fracture diagnostics, horizontal drilling, and completions, along with the operations and management of large and complicated development programs. Uh, after that great introduction, I'm kind of excited to hear what I'm going to say myself. You know? <laughs> You know, Ray uh, has a real unique uh, characteristic, uh, and that is, is that he gets along with everyone. Ray's one of those entrepreneurial type people that doesn't take no for an answer. He sees what needs to be done and he charges ahead. Ray is a natural leader. People look to him for advice and when he states his uh, vision for something, it really takes hold. That's balanced. Uh, by Ray's technical skill. Before he ever joined Range, was recognized worldwide as a frack expert. Ray has been a big part of t the technological innovation that has allowed shale gas to be uh, a real uh, transformative for this country. Ray grew up outside of the Dallas-Fort Worth area on a small ranch, having to work the cows and doing the branding and whatever else. Those of you who've seen Ray, he's a nice looking guy. He talks about going through high school. Come homecoming, he played a solo on the band in his football uniform because he was also the star football player. And then when it came time for the king and queen of the homecoming to come out, well, Ray was there also. So Ray had an interesting history. At high school, Ray would work summers out on uh, workover rigs. And then when he went to college, he would work on drilling rigs in the summer to make money to be able to go to college. So Ray's been in the oil field ever since he was knee high to a grasshopper. Jeff Ventura and Mark Whitley asked Ray to come help out. We talked about uh, going up to complete this Marcellus shale well near Pittsburgh. Ray was down the street with another company and said, sure. And I was in Fort Worth at the time. They said, well, we'd like your help to go on up to Pittsburgh. He said, okay, I'll just drive over there. It'd be about an hour and a half. I was thinking to myself for at least 30 minutes of that conversation that I could hop in the car and I could be over to Pittsburgh because it's just north of Mount Vernon, Texas. No, Ray. Not Pittsburgh, Texas. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I hadn't heard anything about this Marcellus Shell thing. And so Ray realized it was a different world he was going to have to go to. Ray came early to the Marcellus. He was here, you know, at the beginning when um, those the first wells were, um, you know, being proven out. I really respect the work that Ray did in the early days. What he has left Western Pennsylvania with is incredible technology. No one had ever fracked a well in the big oil field style of Oklahoma, Texas. It was all the small jobs from Appalachia. So Ray had a big training effort to do to explain to people how to do it, how to pipe everything together, all the different frack tanks, how to make it more efficient. As we look at uh, those early days, it was really accomplishment to get one or two frack stages away a day. Usually it was one a day. Now we usually get eight stages away a day with the same exact equipment. A lot of that is a result of the training that Ray did with the people here showing them how to do things, but also how to solve problems and realize ways to look for better solutions. And that was part of the gift that Ray gave us here locally at Range, but also the rest of the industry. What an honor it is to be able to speak uh, to the integrity, to the value that Ray Walker has brought to not only to this coalition, but this entire industry. Uh, a well-deserved honor, Ray. Congratulations. Uh, everyone in this room is indebted to the work that you've provided to this coalition. Uh, I can't think of a more deserving honoree tonight and uh, really appreciate all the work you've done to make my job a little easier, to make the staff's job a little easier, uh, and to prepare uh, this road for the Marcells to be successful for years to come. It's really exciting to see Ray Walker uh, honored by the Engineer Society of Western Pennsylvania uh, for this uh, important honor. He was a uh, co-founder of the organization that has really grown to uh, represent the natural gas industry in this part of the world and is our first chair really put us uh, on a good path and uh, congratulations to Ray tonight. Congratulations Ray! Congratulations Ray! Congratulations Ray! Congratulations Ray! Congratulations, Ray. Well deserved. Congratulations Ray! Who are we talking about? Ray Walker? I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I know who you're talking about. I sure do. Ray Walker, uh, congratulations. We're proud of you. We knew you went. 
Uh, thanks for all you've done for Range, and thanks for what you've uh, done for the industry. Way to go, Ray. Congratulations, Ray. Ray Walker, congratulations, Engineer of the Year. Congratulations, Ray. I can't think of a person who deserves it any more than you do. Ray, congratulations. You're a success, and you'll continue to be awesome, Ray. Ray, I'd like to congratulate you on this honor that you're being bestowed with. I can't imagine a person better fitting to be recognized here in Southwest PA for his engineering capabilities. You've really made a difference. Thank you, Ray.